Midjourney Alpha website is slowly rolling out to more users. I see quite a lot of confusion around how to use the image prompts, the character reference and style reference. Their differences and how to use style and character references together from one or multiple images and which one is more dominant than the others. On Discord, using image prompts with image links was more difficult. I made a whole video about CREF and SREF parameters and how to use them on Discord before. The Midjourney Alpha website simplifies the process of using image prompts, style references and character references. Users can now drag and drop images directly into the prompt box, eliminating the need for Discord upload or image URL. You can drag and drop images from Explore or from your own library of generated images. And of course, you can also upload images from your computer. Now let's make an example using a real photo as an image prompt. In order to do that, I'm clicking on the icon here and choosing the image I want to use. For this example, I would like to use photo of my dog Lonnie as an image prompt and I am uploading it to Midjourney Alpha website. After that, simply I'm dragging and dropping her image here. As you can see, image added to the prompt box as default option of image prompt. Quick refresher, image prompting in Midjourney allows users to incorporate reference images into their text prompts, influencing the eye's output based on the visual elements of the provided image. It produces images that closely resembles the reference image, particularly the action of the main subject, text placement, style, and other details. But it's not enough to just add a reference image here. We also need a text prompt for better results. After adding the image, I'm simply describing what I need. So Midjourney can understand better. Pixar animation film scene, a black dog and dog has white fur around her nose, mouth and chest, beautiful amber eyes. It's simply I'm describing how my dog looks like. And I'm also giving art direction at the beginning. I want something looks like more of a Pixar animation style. We could also make something more realistic, right? We could also say photo of a black dog and then this will just create something much more realistic looking or we could add cinematic to the beginning. We could make it look more like with cinematic colors. I'm adding to the end style raw and I would like to have this aspect ratio as well. I'm hitting enter. So images are ready. Some of them really look like Lonnie. The image prompt has a huge effect on the final photo. You can see there is a quite lot of resemblance. It may not be 100% but close enough. Now I want to add a style reference here. So I will click on this icon. I will go to my computer and choose this colorful composition as a style reference. I'm uploading it to Midjourney. And once upload is done, I'm simply dragging and dropping here. So you can see by default, it's choosing second image as an image prompt too. But I would like this to be actually a style reference. In order to do that, I choose the paperclip icon here. And then this prompts Midjourney that I want to use Lonnie's real photo as image prompt. And this colorful composition as style reference. And I'm hitting enter. As you realize style reference can capture and recreate reference images aesthetic style and vibe. But it's not as strict as image prompting in terms of details. Style reference is more adaptable than image prompt for style capture. Users can change the prompt, the main subject and actions while maintaining the overall aesthetic. When style reference applied mid journey focuses on the style, meaning lighting, mood and overall tones of the image matter more than details. In this example, you see Mid Journey was loyal to Lonnie's photo as image prompt, but it got much more of a colorful direction which is coming from the style reference. And of course image reference will be dominant here and it will influence the final image much more than style reference. In the next example, I will use this image of Lonnie as a character reference. And then I will create a scene with a new context. In order to do that, 
I'm choosing this person icon here, and this represents character reference. This simply prompts Midjourney that I want to use this image as a character reference, and in the new context, I want my character to look like this character here. But it's not enough to only add this as a reference point. I'm also adding some more descriptive keywords to ensure that my vision and Midjourney's vision, which is the text prompt, are nicely aligned. Pixar animation of a black dog in Paris. Dog has a white fur around her nose, mouth and chest. Beautiful amber eyes. So from a realistic photo, as you can see, I'm going into the direction of a Pixar animation. I will also add style raw and aspect ratio. Let's see. So it comes quite close. To my character reference. You can see that I have some of the images resemble Lonnie quite well, actually. It may not be perfect, but it's still very much usable. And I can continue with the same character reference and create new compositions as well. Let's say I want to use this image as a character reference. After uploading it, I'm choosing person icon here as a character reference. And I will write the prompt. Cinematic photo of a woman in Tokyo with retro futuristic goggles, close up shot. I used this image as a character reference. And now the question is how can I use the same image also as a style reference? So you can see the interface offers three image prompt types. Character reference, style reference and regular image prompt. Which can be selected by clicking on the corresponding icons. So if I want to use same image as two different type of reference, the trick is you need to hold shift and choose options that you want to use for this image. For example, let's say I choose character and style reference together. I can do this by holding shift. By this, we are saying that we want to use this character's face in the image as character reference and we also want art style of the same image as style reference. I also updated scene little bit and for this I used the prompt box with keywords. Cinematic photo of a woman running from her enemies in Tokyo with retro futuristic virtual reality goggles, full body shot and crowded scene. Let's see what Mid Journey will do with this. So my character looks somehow similar. It's not perfect. And because of the style reference you can see here. The orange and turquoise are heavily reflected on the final images. And you can actually adjust image prompt weight, character reference weight and style reference weight. This means you can decide how strong do you want your character reference to influence your new image and how strong do you want style reference to be applied. These features have different value ranges and sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. So that's why I'm sharing the ranges with you as future reference. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. If you felt a spark of inspiration, show your support with a thumbs up and join our jungle community by subscribing for more mind-blowing tutorials. If you want to learn more about Midjourney and AI videos, click here.